What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to Banished. This is a game that I've been looking forward to for a pretty long time. I saw a post uh, several months ago on a certain video game image board, and uh, I thought this game looked amazing the first, the first time I actually saw it, and it just got released on Steam. Uh, you can buy it for, t I think, $20, 15 euros at least, and um, it's basically a, a city builder game. And it looks amazing. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I played it for about an hour so far, and I've sort of got my uh, my ideas about how to, to get started, how to play a little bit. So, um, in case you guys don't know, it's a city builder game slash uh, strategy survival type of game, where you, you basically build a little village with, uh, you get some, some villagers, and you need to survive. And that's really all I can say about it. So, let's start a new game. Uh, terrain type valleys. I don't I actually haven't uh, played any other uh, terrain type, which is mountains. I haven't played that. Uh, terrain size. I suppose I'll just go with medium. Climate fair. There's mild and harsh as well, but fair seems <laughs> fair. Get it? Because it's fair. Uh, disasters are on. I don't know what disasters are. I don't know if there's gonna be like comets or um, Iron Man destroying people. I have no idea what that means. Starting conditions will be medium. Um, you can change it. Begins with four families, small amount of stuff. Easy is six families, lots of stuff, blah blah blah. Medium is just medium. It's just, it's, it's normal. Now I like to, to actually, um, click the, the map seat a couple times. Town name, you can also Kenbrook Mont. What? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna play with that. Um, you can make a town name and I'm assuming that most people will just randomly generate it, but not this guy. I know that if you gotta make up your own name for a city, you can't, you can't just make something random. You gotta, you gotta go with one of the classics. So that's what we're doing. New Amster swag. I, uh, I like you if you actually know what that is sort of a reference to. But, uh, here we go. Let's, let's make our little city. As you can see, the little, little man right here is gonna cut that stone. Suppressing goblins, what? Now, from what I've seen, I've played for about an hour. I completed the, the, uh, the tutorial. So let me just go ahead and pause the game. So I don't really know if there's any combat in it, and I believe that there isn't because I didn't get any type of um, instructions on that. What is this thing? Is this like a good Godzilla foot? That's sort of it's. Uh, it's I guess it's too ugly. It might be a giant elephant or something like that. Uh, we got a nice river. So let's see if I can get a map going. There we go. I want to get the, the statistics going. Uh, okay, there we go. So if you actually do pick up the game, I urge you to check out the tutorial because it also explains some important parts of um, of the game and, and settings you can change, all that kind of stuff. What I just did is I enabled a map, obviously. I kind of like this map. This is cool. It r reminds me of one of those, um, what's that zone called? Ongoro Crater or something like that from uh, World of Warcraft. It's this giant crater, sort of like this one. Except there's dinosaurs there. I wish this game had dinosaurs. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so that's what I like to, to enable. Save camera locate. I don't want to do that right now. Um, so just this is the map. Obviously, I don't really need to explain this. This is your little statistics overview. Uh, you can see right now it's early spring, uh, the first year. We got ten adults, zero students. I don't know what students do exactly. And we got ten children. The temperature is currently one degree Celsius. You can set it to. Um, it's actually set to Fahrenheit uh, by itself, but I'm European. I'm one of those dirty European guys. I know what you Americans think about us, and I prefer uh, Celsius. And this is your amount of stored stuff. So you got logs, you got stone, you got, yep, that's iron, uh, tools, clothes, uh, food, and firewood, and what is that? Uh, alcohol, oh sweet, and stored medicine. And then the hearts represents your citizens' health, and the stars is th their happiness, or I suppose their quality of life, if that makes sense. I, it's, I don't know, it reminds me of that, because it's stars, and stars usually represent some type of quality, don't they? I, I guess, if everything was a restaurant, but whatever. Uh, you start out with a little barn and a, a stockpile. The barn is filled with some hide coats, some iron tools, and potatoes. Obviously, all these people need is potatoes. I don't... okay. And, um... And the, the stockpile has all kinds of stuff. You got some firewood, some logs, iron, stone, all that good stuff. And obviously this is, um, this changes, uh, depending on the option you choose in the beginning. I went with fair or mild or medium. I don't know which one of those it was. It wasn't, no, it wasn't mild. It was, I think it was medium. You can basically pick and you start out with some, some decent stuff, but it's not all that much and you really need to start figuring out how to get things done. Now this is the menu, obviously you've already seen it. 
This is the simulation speed, so you can set it to up to ten times as fast as usual. A bunch of options to, um, or tools and reports, it's called. You can see paths, uh, way your citizens walk. Um, you can change priority. Yep, there you go. Assign jobs to citizens, which I will get into later. I don't know that much about the game yet, but I would like to give a small explanation as far as I understand it on the game, so you guys understand what I understand. You can make roads, dirt roads, which I don't believe cost anything. Stone roads, uh, bridges, and a tunnel. Probably through mountains. Yep, there you go. Um, you can make a barn, you can make a stockpile, a market, and a training post. So that this is the stuff you can make uh, for trading, storage, and uh, markets. Uh, you can make a well to put out fires. I haven't had fires yet, so I don't know how important this is. Um, schoolhouse, you can educate your citizens. A hospital to cure diseases. A town hall to record and show a census data. It's quite expensive to make, and I haven't made it, so I don't know what that actually does. A chapel. And a cemetery. Prevent citizens from becoming sad when their elderly die. Okay. And these are all your food things, you know, stuff like farms, crop fields, orchards, pasture, fishing dock, hunting cabin, gatherer's hut. Um, let's see, what else? Well, there's a whole whole bunch of stuff, really, but let's start with the, the basics. The first thing that I would like to make, obviously, is housing. We have 20 citizens right now, and none of them have a house, and obviously that needs to be to be fixed immediately, because how the hell are they going to survive if they don't have a place to live? So I'll start by making some sweet houses. There's wooden houses. You can make stone houses for better protection, I assume, from the from the cold. Uh, yep, there you go. Provides, provides more warmth uh, than wooden homes. Uh, but let's see. Let's put that one. Boop, there you go. There you go. Did I just put that? I guess not. Why? Oh, okay, there you go. I can't put it right there. There's a little mountain in the way. There you go. That's a house. Can't... we can put one here. Oh, let's just do it. It's not gonna look as good, but that's it's fine. Uh, I think we need about five houses, so let's put another one right there. And, uh, let's unpause the game. I think the most important part is that they all have houses, although I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but that's what I would assume. That having a place to live is definitely a priority. And they all start taking out stuff like tools, I assume. I'm not really sure about that one. And what I'm pretty sure you have to do is assign them to a certain job, which there's laborer. Easy work such as clearing areas and moving produced goods. And there's builders. They build stuff, obviously. In case you didn't understand it, there's probably someone up there. And they just start walking around. They're idling. I don't know why, though. If you ask me, they're just lazy. Oh, it's because I have too many people working. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's have five builders then. Or... Wait a minute. No, we should be okay with about... Ten of them. So let's get ten builders. Let's do it. And now you just kind of wait and see what they do. And you can zoom in real nice and close and just have a look at them working while you're sitting behind your computer. Just drinking soda or whatever the hell you're eating. Maybe... You're eating some nuggies, nuggies, I don't know. I don't know what you guys do, but I'm just sitting here staring at these workers. I can't help but notice all these little animals also wandering around. Oh, it's just deer. They're not running away. I guess I kind of like it here. So uh, if you click the, the little building site, you can also see that they're building it right now. Sometimes they have to remove trees, rocks, things like that out of the area so they can actually get something done. And if you're really impatient, you can just speed it up to go like that. But that's that's a little too fast for my taste. Uh, it's one, four. So you can click one and four. Uh, space bar, I think it's just pause, although two and three work. So you can speed it up that way. And you don't need the menus. Pretty cool if you um, are one of those people that likes to just use all these hotkeys. There's enough of them in this game, I'm pretty sure. House. Oh, so if you click this one, you go one, you can make a house. So you don't actually need to just click it. You can just go, you know, I want, uh, let's say, F3, and then one, and you just put it down. Well, that's going to take some getting used to for me, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a slow person, obviously. There you go. What the hell is that person carrying? 
Gathering food. Oh, oh nice no, playing. You're not gathering food at all. Linwood Row. Artica. Racklin. Carol. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a guy name. This is like a fusion of Carol and Harold. Jalonzalo. Gil <laughs> I think they make random names and they're pretty funny. Orist. Alessi. Anthon. Calia. It's almost Vincent, but not quite. Mernadia. Hilly. <laughs> oh god. That's gonna be, uh, okay. <laughs> Harmain. Oh boy. Carol. I like this. I had another person in my first village, my only village, with a very odd name as well. I just don't remember it. It was pretty funny though. Jalonzalo. I like that name. Sounds pretty funny to me. Uh, anyway, we are probably running low on, yep, firewood, and that is not good. Because what happens when you make homes is people walk over to the, the storage barn and they just pick up stuff that they want to own. Okay, so they take firewood, they take potatoes. You don't have to give them an order to do so. They just go over there, pick up whatever they want, steal it, keep it to themselves. Classic people are out there. Now, uh, let's see. We're running out of firewood. So what we need is a woodcutter. Uh, who can actually start cutting uh, some wood, obviously. Uh, derp. And, um, oh boy, let's put you, yep, right about there. And that person will start cutting logs that we have saved up. Uh, we have some logs, that's good. Start cutting them up and get some firewood. Everyone has a house now, that's nice. They're all moving in together. Seems a little imbalanced with Racklin and Carol occupying one house. These, these houses are just filled to the brim. Linwood Row. Alessi. Okay, then. Now, I think we do need some roads to the, um... Storage house, so let's go with that. Or barn, What I don't know what, what it's called exactly. Let's see, it's kind of tough to see. Here we go. Let's go with that. Try to get this one. Oh, boy. This way, maybe? That way they're all connected. There you go, people. And now they can walk a bit faster. Obviously a stone road would be nicer. Oh god, just hammering the road into pieces. Okay, then. Carol, clothing fair. Looking good. They also really need to start working on the, um, on this thing, but obviously, um, they need to remove some trees and, and things like that, so let's put you, let's go with that, let have a nice little road. We don't really need another house right now, so I will not focus on that, but we are running out of firewood, or we're just out of it already, which is why the little, uh, snowflake symbol is showing up. It's because they don't have firewood. All they have is potatoes. I guess you could actually... Just burn those, but that would be kind of a waste, so... Uh, I believe the most important thing is, although I'm not sure about that, I'm just sort of assuming, is a gatherer's hut. Uh, because a gatherer actually goes around and, um... Let's see... Collects food, although I'm not sure there's a lot of food around, food around here. For roots and berries, there might be food. Okay, well, so you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to actually experiment with this game. I'm assuming if this is gonna be a long series, which I really hope it's gonna be, because I'm enjoying this game a lot right now. I love city builders. We just gotta experiment, and there's probably gonna be multiple cities, or towns, or villages, whatever. And it will take some experimenting to really um, understand what everything does, how it works. The tutorial was, was nice, but it didn't really... Um, Explain everything by far, so it's, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error here. And now we're just waiting for this to be a completed. Gather's hut is a lot faster. Obviously, because it's closer, they don't need to remove uh, rocks or anything like that. It's just they do their thing and then we're done. Uh, let's start by, let's see, we need to get some stone. We're gonna have them collect these stones over here. What are you doing? Carol? Is this guy a kid? I don't think so. It's a builder. He's just standing there. Like some sucker. Sewardo? 
I haven't seen you before. But alrighty then. Let's see, we got stone. We don't really have any use for iron right now. I believe that if you want to use your iron, you need to get a, um, a blacksmith who can make tools for people. And from, from playing the tutorial, that's really the only thing I was able to d determine that needs iron. I mean, you probably need some iron if you're going to make houses, but still. I don't know if anyone actually uses, actively uses iron. Could be, I don't know. Here we go. So this is coming along pretty nice. I actually, I like this map a lot better than my old one. Because it's on a lake and it looks pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, we gotta remove some people. Let's pause the game. Let's get three people out of here and let's put... Let's make three people workers, or I mean gatherers, sorry. And they can start gathering berries and all that. Actually, let's make four. Let's get lots of food. I like having lots of food around. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, we're working on it. They're collecting this. Let's step it up. Ah, okay, so it only works if this is up. Yep, okay, I get it. Oh boy, this is taking a while, but... Um, okay, well, I mean, it's pretty important because people obviously need heat and they need stones to burn all that. But I'm not sure what it does. I assume it keeps their health up because otherwise they go cold and that's never a good thing. What are you doing? Ro Chelsea. Come on, that's like Rachel and Chelsea or something. That's fake. That's fake name. The deer are just chilling. We should probably also get a hunter. Which I haven't made before, but I'm assuming that hunters and gatherers are a lot more valuable than farms in the beginning. Uh, because of how the way, obviously, that humanity started out. We didn't have farms when, when we were first alive. So you gotta get that uh, figured out. Let's get a, a hunting cabin. Yeah, I don't really know. There's not a lot of uh, forest around here, which I was used to. My other map was just lots and lots of forest everywhere, but uh, not in this one so much. You know what? Let's just put them sort of out of the way, but not too much. Because it's going to be tough to actually... Um, would that work? Do they need to be in the woods? I don't know. I mean, they're going to remove the wood anyway, so it, I don't think it really matters. Let's put it right there. Make a little dirt road right to their doorstep and there you go we have a nice little road people can get over there and all that uh yep we need some wood cutters or actually we only need one so we're getting rid of a builder we're making a wood cutter and there you go go do your job the gatherers are gathering you can actually see what they're gathering by clicking this little thing and as you can see, so far, since they've been made, they collected 22 onions. So I guess that's pretty cool. Oh boy, what is it? The materials required to perform work are not available. We're out of wood? All of it? Well, that will just not do. At all. Let's get rid of the wood around here. Should be a nice little supply of wood. And then the, uh, the woodcutter can actually do his work. Uh, yeah, let's leave him as a woodcutter for now. So that work can actually be done. Citizen Harmain. Oh boy. So yeah, it's more of a survival game really than a city builder. Although it's, I guess it's sort of a mix between the two more than anything. And you just gotta figure out as a player what to build when. And how to make a successful village. Because right now it's sort of... It's sort of uh, straightforward what we need to do. Is keep people alive, make food, get supplies, all that. But... As time goes on, these adults are going to make more children, and we're going to have more people who will need more food, more supplies, all that. So you got to sort of balance that out, I think. And sort of um, get some good growth going. Uh, are we building anything else? They're just cutting down trees. That's good. We should be bringing it back to the stockpile. There we go. And they just put... It, the weird thing is they put it in there, and then it, he immediately took it out to probably bring it over here. Are you my woodcutter? Is that you? Is that you, black shirt? Yep, it's Stewardo. Stewardo, I mean. Not Stewardo, Stewardo. And there you go. He's cutting some wood. And we should be able to get some... Uh, yep, firewood. Four. So far, that's good. A bunch of children walk around. Uh, around a guy with an axe. What could possibly go wrong? 
Obviously, the answer is nothing. It's totally safe. There's nothing horribly dangerous there. And there you go. We got some logs coming in. But we should really clear out some more forest. Let's start with clearing this out, guys. Get some more of that. And then, in the meantime, I hope the gatherers uh, provide enough food. 22 onions, 22 roots. So this might just be a bad area to really collect food and things like that. Uh, so hopefully the hunter hunting cabin will provide more food to these people. I did see some deer, so I'm hoping that this will work. If not, maybe I just got a, a, a pretty crappy seed for a new player. Because I'm not sure what else to do. There is more food, obviously. I can make a farm. That's going to take a while until it actually helps out. Uh, I could try making a, um, a fishing dock. It's right here. I mean, it is a giant lake after all. And just try to get some fish and eat that. Uh, but I guess we'll see. My coat. I'm just hoping that this guy can, um... They really keep everyone supplied with some nice firewood. See, these people actually have 73. They could just share it with their neighbors, but people in this game appear to be assholes. Which might be why they were banished in the first place, because they just steal everything. Yep, okay, so there we go. We can get three hunters. What I like to do is, let's see, let's get rid of one gatherer, one builder, get two hunters in here. Two, there we go. And that way they can start hunting, and I don't really know what that's going to do, but I guess we'll see. Because I haven't made it before. It could be anything. Now, I will I will make sure to actually keep playing the game, because I really, really, really want to. Um, even outside of recording. Oh, we got three extra kids now, look at that. In the summer. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to actually keep playing the game, so I actually uh, can figure out what to do. Uh, I guess that's pretty important, I think, in, in games like these, is to figure out what to do, where to go. And really, it just came out, I'm just super excited to play it, so... I will probably conclude the first part soon, but, um... Oh, what is that? Oh, never mind. Okay, it's trees. Trees and rocks everywhere. Alessi. Parmain. Uh, can I see... Let's see, there should be a big way... Log of events. Oh, this might be useful, actually. I should probably keep this enabled. So, reserve food is low. Child named Demarabel Haskellen Wiata were born. What is up with these names? I'm loving it. Reserve logs is low, stone is low, food is low. That was in the spring. But we should be okay now. We got gatherers, we got hunters. They already have nothing. Uh, yeah, that's obviously great. Uh, let's see. Let's see if people can actually collect me these stones. Or is that... See, it might just be iron. That's... Yep, it's probably iron. Okay. Guess I know about that now. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get these rocks. Because it's just there, and I'm not building anything right now, so the builders are probably just sitting there scratching their butts, not actually doing anything. How did you do? 144. That's not bad. I like that. 98, 22, 73, 12, 20. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty imbalanced. It's actually very imbalanced. Got Vis Vizant. Vicent. Nice guy. Completely nice guy. Let's see. We should probably get a, um... Do I want to get a herbalist who can provide simple health and, he and healing for citizens? Although I'm assuming this person probably needs to be somewhere around a forest or... Something like that, so maybe... Let's see, let's take a look here. I can put them... Yep, that will work for me. It'll look pretty cool. And then also, um, we can uh, sort of get our health back up, because it, it just dropped half a heart. A short while ago. And obviously, I don't want my people to die. So I want to make sure that goes over well. Let's put you right here, little road. Little, uh, little road man. I think we're gonna have to go the road like this, or we can just go like that, and like one, one thingy like this. I'm sure that'll look a bit better. What are you doing? What are you hammering, Anton? We got who's that? Who are you? Who? What's your name? Carol, little kid, Artika, getting something to eat. She's just staring at the adults, actually going to work, and then she just goes and get gets a nice potato to munch on. 200 venison, that's not bad at all. 
So they got six leather from killing animals, two under venison, and you can actually uh, actually use the leather to um, uh, to make clothes if you have a tailor, which we don't have yet. But I suppose that it's quite important, so maybe we should just get to work on one. They don't need to be in any specific location, I believe, so we can just put one right. Let's see what would look cool. Just put them right here. Should look pretty cool. Uh, yep, and now we just gotta wait until the children turn into adults so they can actually uh, start working. Because right now they're kind of useless. Look at that sweet little town. It's looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. Oris has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Yeah, labor. Oh, well, okay then. Clearing areas. Well, let's leave them as labor. Let's see if that actually works. I don't know what that is supposed to do. Uh, so might be might be cool, I guess. Let's okay. So you can sort of cycle through everyone this way. So the hunters are Rochelsey and Sydney with a an extremely interesting spelling. Sewardo. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Anyway, I've been going for a while. I think I'm going to... Oh my god, what's up with the deer? They're multiplying as we speak. They're taking over the town. Hilly. Hilly's been killed by one. Uh, but anyway, I've been, I've been going for a pretty long while. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Let me know if you did. Or what you think of the game so far. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so I'll, I will continue playing it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you did. And... Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, talk to you later.